activist and comedian Dick Gregory. Along the march, I spoke to a Marine veteran and lawyer named John Covington. Well, I've been stopped several times up in the Bronx. Um, yeah. You're a Vietnam vet? Yes, I am. You come back from Vietnam, and how many times have you been stopped? Over a dozen times. Uh -huh. um, have you ever been arrested? Not for that, no. Not for the stops and frisks. So they stop you. Yes. But then once so they find out I'm an attorney and a minister, they just sort of, oh, I'm sorry, we made a mistake. So you've been stopped and frisked a dozen times. You're a yeah. lawyer, a veteran, and a minister. Right. So the lawyer, does that weigh in? I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think they don't. They, well, we may not mess with him because he knows the law, you know. And, and, and I, you know, I guess that's what they decide to do. Why do you think this is happening in this city? And why you? I'm black. That's simply what it is. People don't want to say the truth, but it's racism. It is racism. And the excuse that the mayor gives is that, well, the, 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 the crime rate is so high in the minority neighborhood, black and Hispanic neighborhood. That's why. That, that's why he put more emphasis on that. But I think that's a farce. That's, that's crazy. You need to get the statistics right. If you have 750,000 stops a year, there's something wrong with that. 87.5% is a minority? That doesn't make any sense to me. Right now, I mean, the march started up at 110th. We're walking through the wealthiest neighborhood of Manhattan. Right now, we're coming up to Mayor Bloomberg's house. We're on right. the Upper East Side. Right. That's right. And I was aware of that. And I said, um, can't say anything when I get there because it's a silent march. But I got a lot on my mind. I think when I get home, I'm going to send an email. Since a couple of emails out. To who? To, to, to the mayor's office. You were a Marine? Yes. Third Marine Division. Why do the police say they're stopping you when they stop you over and over and the, over again? The first again? excuse come out of their mouth is there was a crime in the area and we're looking for someone. That's the first thing comes out of their mouth. Or the next second thing is we were looking for somebody you meet, you meet, you fit the profile, the description of the person. Garbage. It's all garbage. You work at the United Nations? I did when I was, I'm retired now. I'm an old man now. How old are you? Well, we keep that quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Most stops and frisks are of young African American Latino men uh, under 30. You've been stopped and frisked over 30? Yes. Yes. And no, no other men my age have been stopped, and older have been stopped. And what is the feeling when they're frisking you? Invasion. When, what? Invasion. They're invading me as if I was invading the beach of Normandy or something. I become a piece of property to them, and they can, they can do anything they want to me because they're the, they're the police. You want to have respect for the police, but they don't have respect for us. That's the key, the whole thing. It's about respect and, not, and, and don't practice racism. John Covington, Jr., Vietnam vet, former Marine, lawyer, and minister, during Sunday stop and frisks.